let's let's uh, work down your enemy list. We have Google. Now we're going to go to maybe number two, Apple. You're not friendly with uh, the Apple people as well, or are you? Well, personally, we're fine. I mean, our our products will compete certainly in the market. But... Let's let's see about the competition here because um, Apple naturally has all these cool products uh, that everybody wants to have. At least we think we, they do. Who has here an iPhone from Apple? And anybody got an iPod here? And keep your hands raised. And anybody got an Apple computer or laptop here? Now let's try it the other way. Anybody have a Windows computer here? <laughs> yeah. Is it in any we both, we both make some pretty good products, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess so, but still, is it frightening to your company, to you, that young kids are fascinated by the Apple products? Look, we're going to have competitors in everything that we do. And that, you know, our, our job is to try to do interesting products, affordable products, versatile products. And, you know, Apple's going to try its own approach. Apple tries to... They don't go after the broad market, usually, that we do. They target different people. And yet, of course, we're going to compete. And I think everybody understands competition is, is a good thing. Mm -hmm. I was very happy to see the number <laughs> of hands that went up on Windows computers. Let's see how Apple frames uh, the competition between you, Microsoft, and Apple in their commercials. Let's have, you, have a look. Hello, I'm a Mac. Hold up. Here I come. Whoa, PC? Yeah. It's all this trial software. They pack my hard drive full of it. All these programs that don't do very much unless you buy the whole thing or are just plain useless. Oh, it really slows me down. <sighs> you know how it is. Oh, actually, I don't. Max just come with the stuff you want, like iTunes, iMovie, iPhoto, iWeb. It's all part of iLife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Let's ready? Let's just do this, OK? OK. Hello, I'm I, Max. I, I forgot something. Is it annoying to see this commercial, or? Yes. <laughs> Since you asked. Yeah. And it's it, there, right? But, it, uh, you know, I think it's almost offensive to the 96% of people who use a PC. But I'm annoyed because I compete. Um, is it true that in your household you have three th sons and, and a wife, that no Apple product is allowed in your house? I, we don't happen to have any Apple product. <laughs> My sons, if they want to use their own money, they know they can use their own money to do whatever they want. But if they want to use my money... <laughs> Over there. Yes, yeah, Steve. You said that uh, Microsoft is going for the broad market. But not just for the broad market, but many markets all around the world. And I'm just wondering if Microsoft is not overstretching itself to all these different markets. I ask myself that frequently. I do. It's a good question. Uh, I think we are able to put enough, the, the, the scarcest resource in our place is smart people. Not because we don't have a lot, but because we're trying to do a lot of things. Hey, I gave, I gave out my email address already. I'm, I'm always looking for smart, talented people. And so the real question is, do we have the kind of brilliant people who can really do important innovations in all those areas? We are stretched. But I think we have the capability to, uh, to take on these broad challenges. Okay. okay thank you. Um, before we go on, please stand. Uh, but um, let's, let's have a look at your, one of your strongest competitors, Apple, and the guy who's in charge of, of Apple and what he has to say about uh, your products and uh, your company. Steve Jobs. The only problem with Microsoft is they just have no taste. They don't think of original ideas, and they don't bring much culture into their product. I am saddened, not by Microsoft's success. I have no problem with their success. They've earned their success, for the most part. I have a problem with the fact that they just make really third-rate products. Steve Jobs, Apple. Steve's entitled to his opinion. Now, that's about a 20-year-old opinion, but that's OK. Uh, Steve is entitled to his opinion. I think his opinion might be the same, might be different. You'd have to ask him. But the fact of the matter is I don't live for Steve Jobs' opinion. It's only one set of opinions I care for, and those are the opinions of our customers. And if our customers are selecting our products, I'm happy, whether Steve's happy or not. And if our customers aren't selecting our products, like we'd like them to do a little bit more with Bing, I'm unhappy. And at the end of the day, that's the only way 
somebody running a business can think about things. Are we delighting the people that we're here to serve? Not our competitors, not the rhetoric, blah, blah, blah. It's all about the customer.